Hello guys, Avery Moser, and today I'm going to be cooking hot chocolate or baking hot chocolate uh, outside right now. I have all my World War II gear on, bandolier, uh, I have a gas mask bag, haversack and everything. So yeah, and uh, I got my restored M1 helmet on. So yeah, I have a video on me restoring it if you haven't seen it. Uh, go check it out. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna just sit right here uh, under our treehouse deck. So yeah, so it's raining right now and the trench is filled up with water. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and cook some hot chocolate. So once I get everything out to cook hot chocolate, I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, so get the camera right there and sitting down on this log and got all my gear on as you can see and one grand back here now for my little gas mask bag put so i have my hot chocolate right there uh and um my Espit stove somewhere. Maybe my stolen German German Espit stove. And get it right there. Just opens up like that. I have Espit in it. Just in there. It's reproduction one. Let me see. Made in Germany. So yeah. So like that. I'm gonna be cooking it on there. So yeah. Uh, find a spot to do it at and I'll be right back with you okay guys so I got my Espa stove right here the Espa tablet out of the wrapper it's right here on a brick you can see brick is broken brick is broken half so, yeah uh, so now just gonna get my canteen Got matches right there too. My canteen. And cup. Didn't get it. Maybe. Can never get it out. It's really humid out and all this wool. It's really hot. So yeah. About to set these. Uh so yeah. Just got my canteen cup. So what I'm gonna do gonna fill it up with water and put it on the stove and warm it up and then put the hot chocolate in. But anyway, so she got me. Canteen. Pour some water in there. Oh uh, yeah, it's the first time I'm cooking with this original canteen cup. I've used the Espit stove before, but yeah. But like I said, I would be in the trench right now, but it's filled up with water from the rain. So yeah, canteen back. Uh, and then I will, uh, 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 let me set, put the SPIT, uh, tablet on fire, and then I <coughs> will, uh, put that on and warm it up. So, come in matches, then not just matches, I might, I'll, I'll probably print out, like, some cover for it, uh, like, uh, authentic cover or something I don't know uh, but yeah so that's it you can't always see if it's on fire so sometimes you actually burn your fingers but yeah got it 
Yeah, jump fire announcer. I'll put my um, canteen cup on and let it warm up. Yeah. This way. Yeah, it looks good. Now, uh, once it uh, is warm, I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys. Um, so, got the um, uh, and on here it's starting to steam. I think it should be hot enough. It's a little bit, but anyways, uh, um, if you guys know any like how to get or any websites how to get into a reenactment group. Um, uh, first infantry division, obviously. Just you can leave it in the comments below. I'm trying to figure that out. But yeah. Uh, I don't know. You have to probably find them and contact them, but when you guys know how to do that, uh, leave it in the comments below. <clears throat> and, uh, um, uh, I'm trying to make my videos better and better so if you have any video ideas also leave them in the comments below but anyways yeah i think it should be hot enough now it's starting to steam as you can see maybe i don't know if you can see the steam but yeah it's starting to steam so yeah camera's falling down uh so yeah Um, I think it's good. I don't know if the handle's hot, probably. Kind of. Uh, you don't have a glove or anything. Uh, so, I'll probably go do something, get up, and after that, I'll be right back with you. So yeah, I got a leather glove now. Just trying to get it off. Get in see. It's boiling. Guys, you see there? Yeah. So, let me try to just sit this down. Try to get on here and blow this out. Maybe, if I even can. See ya. Try to blow it out. Oh, got it there. So, yeah. Got it. Uh, I'm sure it's still hot. Move the canteen cup. So, just glove still. Yeah. So, there right here. Move this down real quick. There. Just on the brick now. So yeah, let me get out of my haversack, my spoon uh, to stir it up, and then I'll get the hot chocolate. So once I do that, I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys, so I got my spoon out. Oh uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do, put the hot chocolate in now. Um, Normally, during World War II, I'm sure they probably take, drink coffee. I don't even know if they have hot chocolate, but that's what I'm having. You see, the handle's still hot. That should be good. Yeah. Just stir it up then. It's good, but it's still really hot. 
because it was obviously boiling, kind of starting to. So yeah, probably let that sit for a while. Still pretty hot. But yeah, like I said, if you have any video ideas, leave them in the comments below. Uh, yeah, I don't have my stuff anymore. It's back there. You can see it lying down. I'm wondering. So yeah. Um, put my stuff on. Uh, so what I want to do, I want to, the trench is kind of like the sides are collapsing. So yeah, I want to work on that. Uh, in some future videos and yeah stuff like that because collapsing filled with water off the pump it out everything so yeah but yeah so we restored in my helmet said I have a video on me restoring it but yeah if you have any video ideas like I said leave them in the comments below I'll probably sit here and drink the rest of my hot chocolate. Because it's pretty much it though. But yeah. Uh, you see it looks brand new. Once I start using it in the field, it should look better and look more used. And if you guys have any methods on uh, aging your World War II uniforms like my M41 jacket, uh, leave them in the comments below, please, because I will, um, want to try to age this. It still looks brand new. Yeah. Let's see, we had chocolate in there, maybe. Kind of. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to the... D-Day, Ohio, reenactment, the D-Day, uh, reenactment in Ohio this August, uh, August, in August, so yeah, um, I'll be there, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, I'll be just finish this up, and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed, if you did, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.